I just wanted to make this video because right now I feel the, the spirit on me. <laughs> I've just been preaching to the air. I've been preaching to the air and mostly myself. I know in myself I need preaching. I need God more than ever. And these thoughts have come across to me and I just want to share them. And I've been thinking about how God, we sit here on this earth and we say, Lord, Lord, please show me a sign. Show me something because I want to believe. I want better life, better soul, better spirit, better mind. I want the wisdom. I want love. Lord, please show me something to believe. I have these doubts, Lord, and I want to believe. And we sit here, we sit here and we say these things. I know I did. And I just picture right now, God's telling me, He's showing me. He's saying, Mike, this is what is going, this is my view. Let's just change it a little bit to, to understand His point of view. Imagine creating the earth. Imagine creating humans, animals, plants, trees in seven days. You create these things through voice, through the word. You spoke the earth into existence. And then the fall. Everybody, the man, Adam and Eve, they, they, they get corrupted by the devil and they stray away from God. Like this, so he gets with you know the flood, whatever. I don't know most of the Bible, but the situation is this: God sitting there saying, "Son, I gave you my life. I gave you, I gave you your life. I gave you the earth. I gave you the sun that beats down and makes the plants grow. I even was so unsatisfied with you guys that I gave you my son to die on the cross, who suffered, who suffered." In for you and I gave you the Bible it's got witnesses in it people that prove that this all exists and all you got to do to understand is read it can't you see that everything in the Bible talks about good it talks about what you should do it says don't murder well that's good it says don't be an adulter adultery or whatever don't commit adultery. That's good. And I just picture God right now saying, listen, I gave you all that and you still don't believe. So what more do you want? When's it ever going to end? When are you going to be satisfied? Because I see on this trip, he's given me miracles. But it's so easy for us to forget. So he says, when? When will you be satisfied? What more do you want? Can't you look outside and see the trees? Don't you understand that you wake up every morning and I give you breath and your heart beats automatically and feeds blood through your body, through your veins. But yet you sit there and you believe scientists who say space goes on forever. Just forever and ever and ever. And there's millions of other planets out there, galaxies, and that's not hard to believe. Why? Because we see. But are you kidding me? You don't think it's crazy that the, the, the space goes on forever? And yet that's easy to believe? The truth is, come on. Doesn't it make sense? Something bigger is out there. God. It's just so amazing because God is love. And that's what I've been thinking about the last couple miles. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know where that all came from. Well, I do know. I feel, I feel the spirit on me today. Praise the Lord. It's like 99 degrees out. And I just can't stop thinking about all the things that God does for us. And that's the key to life, because I, I'm human, I have flaws, I get sucked into the world on a day-to-day -day basis, but the thing is, we gotta just stay strong and remember that 
God's everywhere you look and he'll show himself if you look. It says knock on the door, ask and you shall receive. So why do we sit here doubting every day? We just gotta believe. It feels so good. I love you guys. And uh, it's just, it's just amazing. I uh, come into situations where I have doubts and God says, don't worry about tomorrow, it'll worry about itself. So I started thinking about just today. All I care about is today. What am I doing today? The truth is, any given second, any one of our lives can be taken. You gotta serve your life in a way that when you get done, you don't have any regrets and you say, I don't care right now, I'm not afraid of death because I served a life of, of, of greatness. I served a life of purpose. And most of all, you get to stand before God and hear him say, well done, good and faithful servant. <laughs> oh man, could you imagine, could you imagine the feeling of standing before the creator and him saying, I love you. I can't believe the things you did for me. It's so amazing. You tried to change the world. You did these things for me and now you get your ticket here to heaven where you get to live for eternity. Oh man, that's what we gotta have in our minds right there. Because I tell you what, the truth is once you understand these things, you get confidence, you get hope, you get love, you get joy, you get everything, man. Jesus gives it all. You feel invincible, like nothing can hold you down. Because the truth is, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. Oh man, it's probably the only verse I know, but praise the Lord. I love you guys, and uh, stay strong, because right now, I'm on a journey, riding my bicycle from Columbus, Ohio, through to New York, I'm in New Jersey, I'm going down south all the way to San Fran, and I'm gonna be on trials, I'm gonna have trials and and all these things that, that come my way, but the truth is, my life right now ain't any different than yours. Back home, you have trials. You go out in the world, struggle every day, and it's no different. The thing is, keep God on your mind. Keep Him on your mind, and things are just, Oh, they'll be so beautiful. So beautiful. I love all you guys. I just want to let you know that prayer, prayer is so strong. And anything can, can happen through God. All you got to do is ask Him. I love you guys. God bless you. I'll talk to you later.